Good morning. Uh, you're seeing me for the third time, and I hope uh, that uh, my presence has been light. Uh, today, I will be presenting the outputs of Arab uh, EWG on uh, maximum levels of total aflatoxins in ready to eat uh, peanuts. Uh, let me give you a background. Uh, in the CCF uh, ninth uh, uh, committee uh, has begun discussing uh, maximum levels of aflat aflatoxins in peanuts uh, intended for direct uh, consumption. And uh, a maximum level of 15 milligrams per kilogram has been proposed. In 2018, uh, and within the same committee, in its 12th uh, session, the committee approved uh, a maximum level of 10 milligrams per kilogram at step four, and it was postponed for three years to be uh, to allow the committee to collect uh, more data. In 2022, the maximum level of 10 was uh, suggested again. It was reproposed. Some of the countries, uh, such as Egypt and the EU and other countries, had uh, reservations. Uh, this is due to some legislation that we had locally. Uh, for example, in Egypt, we had a legislation stipulating a lower number than 10. So the work was postponed for more comprehensive analysis of the data. And given the uh, uh, discrepancies in opinions between the Arab uh, countries, the Codex Arab Initiative decided to take action uh, to uh, have a common Arab position. So on the 13th of September, 2023, the Arab Codex Initiative has uh, held uh, a meeting. Among the topics that were discussed was uh, the maximum level of aflatoxins and ready-to-eat peanuts. Uh, uh, we have uh, They have also reviewed uh, the, uh, the uh, outputs of uh, the CCF. Uh, we decided to create an uh, electronic working group uh, called a study based on the principles of uh, risk analysis to determine the maximum limits limits for aflatoxins in peanuts and ready to eat uh, peanuts uh, chaired by Egypt and co-chaired by Sudan with members of the Arab Codex Initiative. And uh, later on October 2nd, 2023, the uh, CCP Egyptian Codex uh, shared the work plan with the EWG, uh, consisting of members from Sudan, the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan, United Arab Emirates, uh, Sultanate of Oman, State of Qatar, and Kingdom of Morocco, and uh, Yemen. And the CCP Egyptian Codex demanded that the EWG to send data uh, related the import and export uh, on the maximum uh, level of uh, aflatoxins in each uh, countries. And they uh, asked, for example, if there have been any rejections on the uh, maximum levels of aflatoxins, uh, be it uh, related to export or uh, local production, or if they had their own national research uh, pertaining to the same uh, subject. The deadline was the 15th of November, 2023. The uh, scope of work for the EWG was to uh, have a unified Arab position, a, a regional position, of course, on the uh, maximum levels uh, for total aflatoxins, uh, that it should be also uh, risk-based to reach an international standard for the uh, maximum levels of total aflatoxins in ready-to-eat peanuts. Step three, uh, before 15th of November 2023, which was the dead uh, uh, line, the CCP received uh, data from Egypt, from the NFSA, uh, in addition to data from Sudan, Sultanate of Oman, uh, UAE, and Yemen. And later on December 18th, 2023, the CCP started to uh, collect uh, data and sent it to the G-Force experts. Uh, we had uh, Professor Samuel and Dr. Amin, uh, who started to analyze uh, these uh, data. Uh, later on uh, February 19th, 2024, uh, experts from uh, G-Force uh, joined us, uh, uh, such as Dr. Andre Khouri, uh, Khouri, who is an expert in contaminants in food, and we held a meeting with the CCP Egyptian Con Codex and the CCP of Sudan 
To discuss the data and decide on the future steps, uh, Dr. Andri was to study and analyze the data set and report back to the EWG. The sixth uh, step was on uh, March, 18, uh, March 18, 2024, where Dr. Andri shared a report on aflatoxin contamination uh, in exported peanuts. And uh, uh, most of the rejections were uh, related to the uh, exported uh, um, peanuts. So most of the, the data was pertaining to that. Uh, later, uh, in the CCF-17, which was conducted between uh, 15 to uh, 19 of April 2024, um, during which the definition of uh, the ready-to-eat uh, peanuts was discussed, uh, we needed to have a clear definition so that we can uh, um, identify the level of uh, total aflatoxins. Uh, so uh, later in CX193, uh, they decided on the definition of the RTE, but uh, there were some uh, reservations from countries. So uh, uh, they decided to apply the, ex the existing definition for the um, ready-to-eat uh, peanut uh, in CXS193. And they decided to establish an uh, EWG chaired by India and co-chaired by the USA to develop a maximum level of uh, aflatoxins in ready-to-eat peanuts and uh, the associated, associated sampling plan for comments and consideration to be taken into account within the 18th session. Regarding the upcoming uh, steps, uh, we will be uh, disseminating the report provided by Dr. Khouri uh, to uh, the country so that we can reach a, a common uh, regional position on the maximum levels of uh, total aflatoxins in peanuts. And uh, uh, after um, that, we will prepare data to be shared through the uh, GEMS uh, food database uh, as data from the Arab uh, region. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Engineer Hanan. Um, you have exerted great efforts along with your uh, team. Thank you. I believe that this is the fruit of uh, collaborative uh, work and uh, of this uh, EWG. Your activity has been uh, amazing. Uh, all the members of the team from Egypt, uh, Sudan, and other Arab countries. Now we will open a uh, room for discussion and inquiries. <laughs> Engineer Adib, the floor is yours. I have a question. Did you approve the CXS 193? No, only the definition. They took the existing definition, which is included in the CXS 193, because we needed a definition for the ready to eat peanuts. Uh, in order for us to work on uh, the rest of uh, the elements. And uh, there is an EWG uh, chaired by India and uh, co-chaired by the USA to uh, start working on the maximum uh, levels. And the report that was prepared uh, by Dr. Andre Khouri, and I would like to extend my thanks uh, from this podium to uh, Dr. Amin, uh, Professor Samuel, and Dr. Andre for taking the time to analyze data. Is there any other comment? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Engineer Hanan, for your efforts.